Righto, hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Johnny Chips Weekly. My name is John Lunn, aka Johnny Chips, and it is Friday the 12th of August, 2022. This is episode number 85, Suits You. So, hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Johnny Ships Weekly. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, it is Friday again. It's Friday lunchtime here in the UK. Hope you've all had a fantastic week doing whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're at work, whether you're enjoying this glorious sunshine this week in the UK, and I believe over uh, you know a certain area of Europe as well. We've had a bit of a heat wave, heat wave, heat wave again this week. Uh, anyway, let's jump on in. We're going to do some community call outs now. Let's see what we got for this week. Okay, first up, great call out by Simon Lee. Um, for those of you that haven't seen this, if you've not seen an Azure virtual data center tour, then you're missing out. You really are. Uh, great spot by Simon. There's a tour happening on the 6th of September. It's all from the comfort of your own home. It's probably <clears throat> one of the best presentations that I've ever seen. And I don't mean that, you know, flippantly. That that was a great experience. Um we had uh, a Microsoft representative on with the Welsh Shore User Group back last year, maybe even 18 months ago, something like that, <clears throat> to do this virtual uh, data center tour, and it was absolutely fantastic. So uh, you can head on over to Microsoft Events. You can fill in the form, get yourself registered for that. Like I say, it's on the 6th of September uh, between 1 and 3 p.m. Uh, BST. Um, I'm not sure that there's a short URL here. So you can either head on over to Simon uh, on Twitter at smoon underscore Lee uh, or look at my Twitter <coughs> I've retweeted this link out go and get yourselves registered but like like I say if you haven't seen uh, one of these virtual data center tours then um, I can't uh, can't recommend it highly enough it's um, it's absolutely fantastic it was actually Mark that came and delivered it for the Welsh Azure user group from memory so yeah head on over check that out and thanks for pointing it out Simon much appreciated uh, okay, next up, um, Robert tweets. Uh, so Robert Strand is teaming up with Wesley Hackman on Azure Thursday on the 1st of September, 5, uh, 5.30 p.m. Central European <coughs> time. And it is, what are they talking about? We've got Robert talking about building an internal developer platform on Azure, and we've got their Wesley coming on to add value to our customers by taking Azure Beyond Infrastructure Management. So... Bookmark that date and time, 1st of September, 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5.30, so that's 4.30 BST. <clears throat> so, yeah, looking forward to that one. Next up, this caught my eye from Jesse. Um, so, basically, Jesse released, I, I, I recall, uh, a great repository of all things um, Azure policy, some great custom policy, Lots of things in a Git repo, and he's doing a talk for the Microsoft Reactor over in Australia uh, on what dates have we got here? Wednesday, the 31st of August, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time. So you're looking at roundabout, yeah, that'll be quite late. Uh, or you've got the 1st of September, 11 a.m. Australia East Standard Time, I'm assuming that is. So <clears throat> you can do the math. I've not got it to hand. Go and sign up for it because I'm sure this is going to be great. If you are doing anything with Azure policy at the moment, Jesse is um, the, the, the person that you kind of want to hook into. He's got some great, like I say, great resources there. He's done some fantastic work in the community. Uh, I would suggest this is probably going to be a great session if you are um, looking at all things Azure policy. So go and bookmark those dates and times and look forward to that one. Jesse, thank you for that. <coughs> okay, next up. <coughs> yeah, great call out. Um, the Azure Back to School event um is is an event an annual event certainly been happening over the last few years from Dwayne Natwick I believe Derek Smith is getting involved now with Dwayne to help organize and run this event it's a, an event that runs through September you know as the name suggests it's back to school it's for community people to put talks papers blogs whatever it might be forward to um to have an event throughout September so Carl Cook is doing an event with Thomas Thornton. Great to see that, um, and it kind of caught my eye. Um, obviously bookmark those dates and times, but if you head on over to the Azure Back to School <coughs> uh, website, which <clears throat> I believe 
is a Git repo. So Azure Back to School .github.io, I believe there is a short URL yet. Azure Back to School dot com. Uh, the list for 2022 is out now, so you can go and have a peruse of that list, and you know check out the times of the sessions and bookmark things. Uh, but you can see there's a lot of familiar faces in there. Um, yep, yeah, uh, Elkin, Keith, Martin, Jonah. Um, you know, a lot of people that I know uh, across the community. So it's really interesting to see. Yep, yeah, Ryan, Neil, uh, lots and lots and lots. So, look go and check that out because there's going to be a whole heap and you can see there just by uh, you know kind of scrolling through we've got microsoft zero trust exploring azure confidential compute um there's lots of interesting articles there <coughs> wim uh what else we've got uh arindum i know arindum has been on the user group as well before now so yeah you can see the whole the depth of content that we've got uh go and check it out azurebacktoschool.com and thanks for Carl for reminding me of that one. So um, go and check it out and join in. Uh, next up, the MC2MC event in August. August 25th is happening uh, with, again, a few people from the community. We've got um, Rory Neary on, Lejo John. We've got John Jarvis and Mr. Dean Ellaby. All guests uh, at this month's event uh, talking all things uh, endpoint management, security, that kind of thing. So bookmark that date go and show some support 25th of august go and follow mc2mcbe uh, on the twitters and get yourself registered for the event it's going to be a great one um, as always next up uh, mr shabazz die he, the, the man never sleeps um he's got some great content coming out he's been doing some fantastic book reviews recently um for examination books um across the community <clears throat> and now he's doing a uh, another um, almost well I, I presume this is zero to hero kind of series but it's all on the SC300 uh, examination so he's got some video drops there um, he's, be, he's teamed up with Dwayne Network to do this series on the security um, SC300 exam and there are his YouTube links so go and show some support if you are studying towards the exam it's going to be a fantastic source of information to kind of help you get through those um, skills measured those areas uh, of the exam that you need to no in order to be successful so yeah huge thanks to shabazz and great poses for the uh, for the whole youtube thumbnail um yeah go and check it out go and follow uh, shabazz's youtube uh, at shabazz dar on twitter and uh, yeah like and subscribe and give them a watch so thank you for that shabazz and Dwayne. next up my good friend mert is back with Mert to the future uh, he had a session yesterday i believe yep yesterday with mr chris reddington all around going beyond repositories with GitHub. Uh, I've not watched that back yet, but that's to, you know going to be a, a great episode, no doubt, <clears throat> with Mr. Reddington um, taking that move over to GitHub now. He's going to have some great insights and information to give us. If you missed it, head on over to the Azure Live Twitch.tv channel. Go and give that a watch. And, yeah, it's great to see Merck back doing these episodes because they were um, always a great source of, of information as well. So it's good to see them back. Uh, yeah, go and follow Mert on the Twitters at M3RTGetter. Uh, and yeah, join in, have some fun and support. Thank you. Thanks, Mert. Um, and finally, Mike Pfeiffer is back with a new podcast. Um, for those of you that don't know Mike, I suggest just following Mike, um, you know, especially around the cloud community. He's always got some fantastic insights, knowledge, information, and he's always there trying to help others um, better themselves and Think of ways in which you can kind of better yourself. And he's such an inspirational person in the community. So, <clears throat> like I say, if you're not following Mike, just give him a follow and you'll see what I mean. Uh, he's got a new podcast. Uh, he did have the Cloud Skills podcast for a while. He, he, he's kind of taken a moment to reflect and um, move away from that to a certain extent, but then come back with something different. Um, episode one, Rebuilding Healthy Habits uh, on the Mike Pfeiffer podcast, which is out now. Uh, go and give it a listen. It's insightful, it's informative, and it's like like I say, I always find Mike to be, you know, truly inspirational in in you know how he comes across, the way he thinks, and you know, kind of putting his message across, which um, is a difficult thing to do. You know, it really is. So uh, you know, hats off to Mike for coming back with this podcast, and and really looking forward to the next uh, the next episodes. But uh, for now, that's been the community call out. Let's head back on over. 
Okay, so just a quick one. Let's go and um, give you a quick update on what's going on in the wonderful world of the Welsh as your musical. So if you haven't already RSVP'd, uh, please do so. 17th of August, uh, 6.30pm BST, we've got the awesome Ro Rolf Shooton, which I did a, a video, uh, an in-convo with Rolf um, this week. That'll be coming out soon as well. Great guy, doing some fantastic things across, com across the community. He's coming on to talk to us about chaos engineering, so using the Azure Chaos Studio, um, you know, to, 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 to look into our Azure um, resources and solutions. So that's going to be an awesome talk. <clears throat> and then we've got uh, Devault coming on to talk to us all around, you know, how do we make the right choice with our authentication um, options with B2B or B2C. So, you know, a really great session coming on next week, next Wednesday, the 17th of August. Please do go and get RSVP'd on the meetup. Uh, follow me or follow at Welsh Azure on the Twitters and go and get yourself RSVPs. Uh, if you've missed any episodes of the Welsh Shore User Group, they're all there available on the playlist below. Look for the Welsh Shore User Group playlist. And wow, we're up to 20, well, 24 videos. I know one of those videos is just a little, or well, two of them are like little uh, um, informative info videos. So, <clears throat> yeah, I do believe that this is going to be our two year i think we might have to use september as our two-year anniversary so let's see when we started here yeah so 10th of september 2020 was our first welsh is your user group um session that we recorded uh yeah so we are definitely coming up to two years so looking forward to that like i say we'll have to do something special hopefully in september if i can get if i can get the uh, my act in order and get things sorted out properly uh, but yeah, that's a Welsh Shore user group. Go and get yourselves RSVP'd. Go and check out the playlist below for anything you've missed. Give us your feedback. You know, let us know what you'd like to see at the user group, and we can uh, see if we can make that happen. But um, there we go. Head back on over. Okay, so finally, let's just check out what's been going on in other aspects. You know, what have I had going on with Johnny Chips on the side? So first off. Thank you, MVP Award. I had my new MVP Award disc sent out this week. It was received from FedEx. Uh, great little parcel comes in a little box that you can open, slide out your new certificate, comes with a disc and a pin badge. So, you know, it's awesome to receive. I was renewed the beginning of July, um, also obviously taking a few weeks to get the <coughs> the new um, disc. So I've got a new little disc that sits on the, 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 the trophy. So I've got two now. Uh, it's great community to be part of. You know, I truly am humbled and proud to be part of the community and doing what I do to kind of help spread the word and help out everybody learn what they need to learn in order to progress their own, you know, careers and, you know, inquisitive natures and things like that. So thank you. Uh, also this week, um, actually, we, we had our uh, episode seven of uh, when Ops Meets Dev last week, and it was a fantastic episode again. Again, watch, rewatch that back. It's in the playlist below. We stuck with the theme of Terraform, DevOps, CI/CD, all of that good stuff. Uh, we've got episode eight coming out on the nineteenth of August. So again, it's a live stream, uh, around about an hour, where we'll be talking over a particular sub subject area. Go and check that out. The um, agenda is in the post. Um, either bookmark and notify on the uh, playlist below. So when Ops meets Dev, or go and get yourselves RSVP'd in the meetup group. Um, yeah, follow me for more information. Uh, so it, it is Friday, and it gives me a uh, great pleasure to thank my guest for last week, uh, Robert Strand, where we had a great conversation. It was a really great, um, you know, great to meet Robert properly and have a proper conversation, uh, as is always with anybody from across the community. But we had a great conversation around lots of different things, including... Um, uh, ADHD, you know, what it's like to work with ADHD and, you know, kind of what that meant for Robert when he was diagnosed and things like that. So really, truly insightful and, you know, things that, um, you know, maybe aren't talked about all that much. So um, go and check it out. See what you think. Let us know some feedback and, and comments back on that. So thanks for being an awesome guest last week, Robert. But uh, as I said, it is Friday. We've got another episode out tonight and it's with the amazing Mariam Riaz. So, um, this was a, an incredible conversation. So Mariam comes from a telco background like myself. I've been at BT for uh, nearly 10 years. Mariam worked at Vodafone previous to that. And it was a in really interesting and insightful conversation. You're kind of comparing notes with two people working in kind of cloud technology, what it's like working at telcos. And 
you know, yeah, you know, hitting similar roadblocks, hitting similar problems and challenges that you have to overcome. So it was a really great conversation. It actually turned into a bit of a, you know, uh, conversation around how telcos and those big, um, large service businesses can, when they're trying to um, transform into more tech orientated companies, you know, what kind of challenges do they hit and, you know, how to overcome them and things like that. So that's out tonight, 6.30 p.m. BST. Uh, please do uh, take a look, take a listen. Let us know any comments you've got. Join in the chat in the in, in the live chat when it goes out later tonight. Uh, but yeah, huge thanks to Marion for being an awesome guest. Um, she truly was really insightful. Great words of wisdom and you know pointers that um, that are that are brought out of that conversation. So uh, yeah, give that a watch tonight. And finally, just wanted to let you know that um, I'm, I'm I'm you know feel honoured teaming up with. Um, the incredible uh, Barbara Forbes and um, Esther Bartle and April Edwards uh, to do a Tech Day event in September. So we're looking at uh, September the 20th, 2 o'clock British st summertime. Uh, we're doing putting the ops into DevOps. So really talking about um, all things DevOps, you know, how uh, trying to break down the concepts effectively of what DevOps is to to a traditional operations and IT pro that maybe is new to the world of DevOps and looking to understand how it might be able to help them. So um, yeah, come and uh, come and check that out. We're going to be, I believe we're going to be doing it as a recorded event. So looking forward to do that, I think next week. So yeah, um, bookmark those diaries. Really excited to be in such great company there. So uh, yeah, um, going to be interesting to see, uh, see how that one comes out. So looking forward to it. So Thanks, Adam, for uh, for all the arrangements as well. It's most appreciated. And that's Johnny Chips on the Side for this week. Okay, it leaves us with the final part of the show this week. Let's just get on with it. Here's the, the Azure news and updates. Thank you for joining me. This is the Azure News and Updates for this week. Uh, and let's start things off then. There's not that many announcements this week. I think we've only got about half a dozen. Uh, so it's been a pretty quiet week and there's not a lot across the core infrastructure side. So let's just take a look at these uh, updates then. So we've got a public preview announcement. Azure dedicated host restart. Um, so that dedicated host gives you more control over the host that you deployed uh, by giving us the option to restart any host. So... When undergoing a restart, the host is associated and its associated VMs will restart while staying uh, on the same underlying physical hardware. So to, uh, with this new capability now in preview, you can troubleshoot steps at the host level. So that's great to see. You know, Again, it's more innovation across the Azure platform. So let's take a look at the next one. GA announcement. Azure Lab services have had their August 2022 update. Um, yeah, so I've, I've used the lab services on, on occasion, not a whole heap. So just scanning through this now, what have we got? We've got enhanced lab creation and publication improvements along with backend reliability. We've got enhanced virtual machine access performance, introduction of VNet injection of Azure v, uh, uh, virtual networks, um, improved cost tracking in Azure cost management service. <coughs> We've got access to the .NET SDK, Python SDK, uh, PowerShell module and ARM templates, and integration with Canvas and learning management system. Awesome to see. Um, like I say, they, you know these these kind of rolled up uh, updates. It's it's very true. You know to kind of keep on top of everything. As you can see, just going through something with so few few updates for this week. There's still a lot going on. Um, okay, let's move on. Public preview. Serverless S uh, serverless SQL for Azure Databricks. Uh, it's a new capability for Azure Databricks SQL. It provides instant compute to users for their BI and SQL workloads uh, with minimal management requirements and um, capacity optimizations that can lower the overall cost. So, of course, with serverless, you only pay for what you use when it's running um, and when you're running reports or queries. So, great to see. You know, it certainly is. So, it's something to delve into if you are using Databricks um, and you know this this is effectively like I say a new capability for databricks go and check that out see if that's something that you can make use of uh okay another public preview announcement uh, update management center in azure so uh the next iteration of azure automation 
uh, update management solution is now in public preview. It provides an out-of-the-box, easy-to-use experience for central management and governance of OS updates across all the machines, uh, including machines with Win uh, Win WinX, <laughs> Windows and Linux operating systems, uh, uh, machines deployed on Azure and on-prem, and other clouds via Azure Arc. So, um, you know, you can see we got the, the, the typical Azure-style dashboarding, which is great to see. So you can see the number of machines uh, by classification, uh, post-orchestration configuration of Azure Virtual Machines. Awesome stuff. Uh, you get the following key upgrades over Azure Automation Update Management Solution. So you get the management and governance of updates for an entire fleet of machines, including Windows and Linux, Azure and Arc workloads. Uh, there's no prerequisites, zero onboarding steps. There's granular access control uh, on each machine using Azure roles and identity. Uh, you can install updates right away or, or on a schedule for, to, for them to go out on a later date. Um, the flexibility to define scheduling windows, including syncing patches cycles with Tuesdays, the unofficial term for Microsoft's security fix is uh, on every second Tuesday, as you may or may not know. Uh, new ways of patching, such as automatic VM guest patching and Azure hot patch or custom maintenance schedules. And, and of course, there's some policy-driven uh, enforcement of assessments and patching um, at, at scale. So, um, yeah, that looks to be quite an interesting and informative update there. So go and check that out. So this new public preview update management center in Azure. Next up, GA, we've got upgrade VMware VMs protected by site recovery to modernize experience right let's have a little look at this then so microsoft this came out a few days ago so they're officially announcing the availability of the migration ca uh, capability to move your existing vmware virtual machine that's protected by azure site recovery from a classic protection experience to modernized protection experience okay with this capability customers can move their existing replications of vmware virtual machines enabled using configuration server to the modernized experience enabled using ASR replication experience, uh, appliance, sorry. Um, the migration is guided by a smart detection mechanism, which ensures that the complete initial replication is not performed again for non-critical replicated items. Uh, the capability calculates and provides estimated migration time to better assist customers and plan their migration. Uh, additionally, the tool is integrated with a robust rollback mechanism. Uh, so if the migration fails for any reason, the operation will automatically be rolled back and you'll be moved back to the classic replication experience. OK, uh, so moving to this modernized experience is recommended uh, as it aims at enhancing security, reducing manageability efforts, uh, simplifying scale, cutting down on man any manual intervention and adopting, uh, adopting an automation first approach. Uh, so you can actually, there's there's a link here, um, which let's see if we can have a quick look at. There's a whole kind of comparison uh, between the two. So why should I migrate um, the machine, you know, your, your VMs to a modernized architecture? And there's a bit of a comparison table there that you can kind of go through. So yeah, go and check that out. You know, that's an interesting, um, that's an interesting one to look at, at the moment. So upgrade v VMware VMs protected by site recovery to, to the modernized ex experience. Cool. Okay. Uh, another GA announcement as your Databricks is now available in West US 3. Awesome stuff. And finally, uh, just some Azure site recovery updates for August 2022. So there's an update roll up of 63. What have we got? Um, Mobility Service has added support for Linux OS, Azure to Azure, Oracle Linux 8.6, and added support for VMware Physical to Azure or to Oracle Linux 8.6. Uh, and there's some update to the Azure Site Recovery Portal. They've introduced the migration capability to move existing replications from that classic to that modernized experience. That is out in the portal right now. So go and check that out if you are using ASR for any reason. Okay, that was our Azure news and updates for this week. Thank you for tuning in. Let's head back on over. Okay, it's the end of the show. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in again this week. Um, a nice 25-minute show, as always. So it's episode number um, 85. So really, you know, kind of motoring through these shows. Please do let me know. I, I Apologies for looking down here at the screen. I'm trying to find my buttons again, as I always do. 
please do let me know if these are informative for you. I know I kind of stream these out across multiple platforms. I think I'm going to be going back to just hosting these on YouTube pretty soon and maybe, you know, looking to um, change these up a little bit, move from the weekly kind of magazine type show into something slightly different. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, you know, I enjoy doing these every Friday morning. I'll get up a little bit earlier for work, do this video for half an hour, put, put it out there. Uh, but equally, you know, I, I, I would like to receive some feedback on them, you know, so if you've got anything to say, let me know. Uh, other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I will see you all very soon. Have a great weekend, whatever you're up to. And yeah, I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.